<laughs> Hi everybody, <clears throat> welcome to Pete Two Wheels. Um, why do I call it Two Wheels? Pete Two Wheels. So I couldn't think of anything else to call it. <laughs> so anyway, what's my channel going to be like? This is my first one I've done. So yeah, forgive me, the editing is probably not going to be great. But anyway, let's move forward. What we're going to be talking about right now is what I just bought, which is a new 2023 Beta X Trainer. And yeah, I've only gotten 33 miles on it so far. And tomorrow is going to put it through its first test, which is a Valley's Extreme Enduro in South Wales. So yeah, that's going to be interesting. However, I'm mega impressed with it so far. Um, why did I buy the, um, the Beta? Well, we just did the uh, Sea to Sky uh, this year and my KTM, which I'll be taking you through all the um, modifications done that. It's 2018 TPI and it was fantastic, no doubt about it. However, I just wanted some bit more lighter, a bit more manageable, um, more torque. Sometimes less is more, yeah? So I wanted something that was tractable, that's lightweight, and I'm only five foot eight, yeah? Which is a standard height for a normal human being, as we know, yeah? However, yeah, this thing is amazing, yeah? It's classed as a beginner's bike, yeah? Beginners can ride it because it's so tractable, etc., etc. Uh, Use lots of um, uh, videos on YouTube about it. However, I'm gonna be putting it right through its paces. So even off the bat, I've done some modifications to it. Yeah, some things I light, some things I didn't like straight away. Um, the electrics and some of the connectors I went, mm, they're not great. However, the rest of the build quality is fantastic. Yeah. Um, yes, it hasn't got an exhaust guard on the moment, so it's probably going to get battered. Yeah, this weekend, um, probably going to go motos uh, exhaust on it, um, which I've done on the KTM, which improves the torque etc but it gives it a little top end more hit etc but we'll go into that more detail this is just an introduction so who am i i basically am 52 years of age i started riding enduro at the age of 40 i've had about 77 motorbikes um yeah i went to ride enduro to take me off the road like a lot, a lot of guys do however still have my road bike my little zx7 there however enduro is my thing i do love it However, it's going to be gopping up at the Valley's Extreme. Um, it's, we've seen the, I've seen some of the pictures already and it looks horrendous. However, that's what I like to ride, you know? Um, yeah, I like the technical stuff. Um, technical is um, what Graham Jarvis say, got to learn to ride slow before you can ride fast, yeah? Um, even Graham at Sea to Sky, however, did mention my uh, Motos pipe. He said, where did you get that from? I said, Motos. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And I'll be taking through, through some of the kit that they supply. Now, what's this channel all about? It's basically me as a hobby rider making mistakes, um, which we all have, yeah, and hopefully pass on that information so other people don't make them, yeah. Uh, also, some product reviews as well on some of the kit. Uh, from Motos, Sam uh, uh, SMX, great guy. Um, he's down in the link uh, you'll see below. Um, he knows his onions, okay. Um, so he provides me of all the equipment. I'm not a sponsored rider at all, but he I just go to him for all the kit, and he'll get me what's best on the market to do the job. Yeah, um, yeah. Sometimes it might be a little bit more expensive, but <laughs> buy cheap, buy twice. Yeah. So anyway, as you can see, first and foremost, you might notice on this bike, there's a wheelbarrow wheel in the front. <laughs> That's my first modification, not. Anyway, that's so I can get it in my VW Caddy. So if you've got a smaller van, a wheelbarrow wheel allows you to get into those smaller vans, yeah? Um, the rest of the bike is pretty much all standard. Obviously, I put on the tugging strap on the front, uh, which came in handy a couple of times in the um, Sea to Sky this year. Um, on there and basically when I build my bikes it's all about protecting the bike because let's face it guys they've got enough power as they are yeah um, obviously the KTM we'll go through that on a later date that's got the TPS mods etc um, etc et that's got a lot of mods on it uh, but it's built for me yeah so it won't suit everybody else um, but this bike low seat height loads of torque 
map and switch on it yeah yeah it's got a small fuel tank yeah we'll get away with that rag guards are already on there yeah from motos yeah uh again they're on the link below yeah so have a look at those guys really good quality kit um made in turkey and stood well um for for, for the uh, extreme race out in uh, turkey there um we got most pegs now for example the pegs on these are like ice so first thing i rode it went my god those got to come off straight away and let's get some decent pegs on there yeah we'll get some grip on it and swim up swing arm protectors rear disc arm protector rear um guard for the swing arm on the on the, on the back as well and the rate rad guards that's basically to start off psycho hand guards on the on the bike I only use Psycho because then a day, what's it? I'm not the tallest bloke, as you know, so I drop the bike a lot, and these things stand up to a lot of abuse. And you can put in the vice, heat them up, and um, straighten them up quite easily. Yeah, Pro Carbon protecting the top, uh, my forks, which is great. Pro Carbon products are great, um, and there's a British company as well, uh, which is nice. Um, but yeah, the beater, looking forward to using it yeah for the valley's extreme and we'll see how we get on um tire wise i'm sticking with the standard tires that the beater came on for the qualifying uh we'll see how we got on there i'm running a moose on the rear and running lucci lucioli lucioli is that how you say it i think it's on the other bike yeah lucioli seven mil heavy duty tube which i can run down to about three psi so i really want grip yeah it's not about outright speed i don't believe it's about just getting grip and plodding away yeah basically i just want to complete the bloody event <laughs> in one piece yeah and you know at least get a bronze uh tire wise for the actual event i'm starting with this puppy here which is a midas ice yeah um designed for low temperatures um super soft yeah um i'll be giving a review on this tire um after i've done the race so i've used all types of tires guys i've used uh, kenda ibx i've run mitus i've run all kinds of stuff basically to try and just get traction so yeah um i'll just quickly pick this up here now i said this for the first time so not the best so a quick look at the bike yeah there's a ktm um that as i said had a lot of mods done to it and we'll, I'll be reviewing all the mods that has been done to that bike. Um, like I said, I'll never sell it. It's built for me. It's, it's great. Um, but the beater, this this thing rocks. Uh, I've changed handlebars because the original handlebars were s s like a, a set of um, eight bars from a, uh, from a chopper. Um, I like a really low set of bars. And you can see it on the KTM. These are proper low. Um, I, I like a low bar. Um, so these are a set of KTM bars, a bit gold here because they were bent to hell, so I've uh, readjusted them and put them back into shape. So I like a low bar on that. Um, apart from that, I like a nice bit of 